On September 11, 2023, Lady Devon, the community manager for Fallout 76 on the Bethesda Discord server said that they recognize fire and energy damage by NPC enemies needs to be adjusted. This has been most noticeable with enemies such as the Angler and the Assaultron, and if you haven't seen it, try running a nuke silo. If you don't have any perks or armor that will help mitigate energy damage, it basically will eat your lunch. Lady Devon goes on to say that they are doing a thorough sweep on fire and energy damage based upon incredible community feedback. Hey, that's you guys. These changes will include how damage is calculated and balance updates for both enemies and armor, where sometime in early October, they're going to re-release the PTS and these changes will be applied to that update. After Lady Devon posted this inside of their Discord, a number of players had questions or some concerns of whether or not this will only apply to NPCs or if it's also going to apply to players as well. And I can completely understand because there's a lot of players now that have invested into the Plasma Flamer and they say they really like it a lot. But anyone who uses an energy weapon as their primary weapon and really likes it should be concerned at least a little bit because there's always the possibility of change when something like this comes up. A little while later, after the first posting on energy damage, Lady Devon comes back to say this. I've reached confirmation from the development team that the above also includes changes to energy weapons. And unfortunately, there was no more clarification outside of that, so that could also mean your laser rifles too. The hope here, I think, is just to try to balance out the amount of damage that NPCs are doing using energy and flame damage. I hope it's not the other way around where it's balancing out both of us and we end up nerfing some of the weapons we've got already. There's nothing concrete, but... You never know. We're closing out with some of the more pressing issues with Fallout 76. Apparently there's an issue with crafting the Union Power Armor or the Auto Axe. This has become a priority for them and they intend to have this fixed in their next update. Personally, I don't intend to create the Union Power Armor or the Auto Axe. However, I do run nuclear silos. So if you can take care of the overpowered flame damage so I can get some of these nukes off, that would be fantastic. For the weekend of September 14, 2023, we'll have a Minerva Big Sell weekend. And this sale will include all of our items from our previous three sales all wrapped up into one. If you don't know what she has for sale, check out this link up here. I made a video about it about a week ago. She's got some really good stuff this time around. All right, so do you guys prefer the Flamer Barrel or the Plasma Barrel? Comment that down in the comment section. I'd love to see what you guys have to say about it. And if the video was informative, at least enough, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I sure would love to have your support. So hit the subscribe button too. And I do look forward to seeing you guys soon in Appalachia. Love you, bye. Oh, how nice it is to be finally out in the great outdoors where I could see nature and what, what? Wait a tick? What is that? This looks to be like some kind of pre-war microwave or something. What does this button do? Uh-oh.